All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the elect, which begins with 144,000, and also unto you, women and children. Keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass. And salvation is very near. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, meaning He exists or He is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the Deliver. Racha Kodash is Spirit Holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. Bahashim means in the name. And um, I'm your brother Bashar, coming at y'all with a quick. Uh, uh, encouraging and comforting lesson, Lord willing, is is um you brothers and sisters are edified and uh, comforted. I just want to you know talk about how you know the times that we're coming into, um, you know be, you know continue to be vigilant and um, don't worry, you know because you know the times that we're coming into this is the time uh, for the two thirds. Okay, yeah, scriptures talk about how the righteous will scarcely be saved, but, you know, those of you who who have been enduring and, um, you know, putting your best forward in all truth and sincerity, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you have nothing to worry about, you know, um, the Lord is, is going to preserve you soon to uh psalms the 91st chapter okay the 91 chapter all right so um you know you got a bunch of scriptures out there showing you um that the lord is gonna preserve you you know um um you know how it's, and, and again in the book of psalms the 91st chapter he says that he was going to give you his, his angels charge over you. Let's get that real quick. And then we're going to get some precepts on that. Let's put on that fact. This is Psalms 91. We're going to get down to the point. This is the, the first verse. He shall, he that dwelleth in the secret place of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall abide under the shadow of the Most High, slack of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in whom will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, fe fe feathers, and under His wings. Shall thou trust in tr um, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler, right? And when I read that scripture, um, you know, I, I automatically remember the um, Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse, okay, where you know, the Lord scriptures talk about uh, Michael the archangel, you know, is going to stand up, um. You know, for the children of Israel. You know, so the Lord is gonna give His angels charge over you. So, you, so you, there's really nothing to, you know, worry about, and that's a part of that standard spoken about in um, Isaiah, the 59th chapter, the 19th verse. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, so certain brothers are gonna be um, given spiritual power. Um, we don't know who, Lord willing, we be of that number. Um, but, um, you know, there's more than enough examples in the scriptures to show you that, you know, the Lord is going to protect his elect using his, uh, celestial angels, you know, the angels that, that are in the heavens. You know, we got, uh, examples which i'll bring out an example right now 
This is uh, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16. Okay, this is a great example. And he answered, Fear not, for thy for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, Yahweh Shai, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Okay, so this is talking about, you know, the, uh, the the angels, the celestial angels that are in the heavens. All right. That encamp is around, you know, the elect. Okay. Verse 18. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim El Shai, and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. You know? So, uh, you know, the Lord, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna, you know, have his angels um, be around his elect to protect them even more so now like now they're you know encamping round about which we'll get that scripture this is psalm chapter 34 verse 7 the angel of yahweh bahashim yahushai encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them right so you know <laughs> and you know what what i just read prior to this scripture was in the book of kings that was just that's that, that's an example you know showing you that you know that the lord at that time he's going to um lift up that standard pursuant to isaiah the 59th chapter verse 19 and that standard is going to come in the form of the, you know his his celestial angels um you know answering the uh, the prayers of the elect uh swiftly you know because right now what the angels do they they go back and forth to the heavenly father delivering up the prayers but at that time the lord is going to give his angels charge over the which we'll get that real quick. Continuing on that in Psalms, the 91st chapter. Okay, uh, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows, for the arrow that flieth by day. That's talking about the missiles. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come thy nigh thee. Why? Because the, the, the Lord's gonna, you know, have his angels take charge over thee. You know, we're gonna get to that point. That precept, verse eight: Only with thy eyes shall thou be, behold and see the reward of the wicked. You know, let's get straight to the point. Verse eleven. For, let you know, ver, uh, verse. Let's continue on. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy power, that thy habitation. Th there shall no evil befall thee. Okay, because we're sending up those prayers to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, and we're putting our, our, our faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Let's continue. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. 
they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Okay, so yeah, you know, the, you know, the angels are gonna be like really, like, um, really, uh, you know, with us. Yeah, they're with us right now, but they're gonna be even more with us. You know, even as we speak. You know, you might say a prayer. And, you know, the prayer might not come happen at that at that immediate time. You know, you might put a curse on somebody and that curse might not happen at that particular time because, you know, you know, the angels, they got to go back and forth to, to the Lord and deliver the prayers up, you know. But, you know, at that particular time, you know, you know, when the Lord gives his angels charge over the um. Lord willing, will we be of that number? You know, things are going to be happening real quick. Let's get that preset. All right, this is um, Ezekiel chapter 12. And um, I'm going to start at verse uh, verse 24. And, and I, you know, I know, you know, brothers know that, you know, this is talking about, you know, the prophecies come, come to pass and things happening, you know, more rapid. You know, um, the Lord shortening the days and, you know, things you know, prophecies popping off quicker than 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 ever, but uh, you know this can apply to the um, the men of the Lord speaking, and um, and the the uh, the word uh, that they speak, the prayers happening rapidly, just like in the ancient days. You know, because back then in the ancient days, uh, you know, the, you know, men of the Lord might prophesy somebody's downfall or, or curse somebody, and it'll happen right there. You know, like for example, when uh, 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 I think it was Elisha or Ezekiel, you know, uh, cursed those, uh, the, uh, um, cursed those, uh, those children that was uh, making fun of his bald head. You know, the Lord sent forth that those she bears to you know devour them up you know and 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 you know even yahweh shai prophesy this you know in the new in the new testament saying you know you know the works that i do ye shall do greater you know but let's read this real quick and then we'll jump to the other scriptures um ezekiel chapter 12 verse 24 for there shall be no more vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel, for I am the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Right, and who does the word the Lord speaks through? He speaks through his to his to his prophets. You know, we go into the book of Luke, chapter one, verse seventy. It says he speaks by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began. You know, now let's continue. Verse 25, For I am the, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Okay? So the Lord is going to, you know, perform these, you know, uh, allow his, uh, his men to perform these, these miracles. You know, he's going to, that's the part of the, the standard. Again, written in Isaiah, the 59th chapter, the 19th verse. You know, let's continue. Verse 26. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of the times of the times that are far off. Therefore say unto them that thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai power, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said 
the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai power. You know? Let's get this other precept. This is John chapter 14, verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, Yahweh, and the Father in me, Yahweh Shai. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Now, this is not saying that Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are the same entity. It's not. It's not saying that. It's not talking about the. You know, it's not going into the uh, the the, tr the Trinity. Okay, the Father, the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father's beloved Son, Yahweh Shai, are two separate entities, but they are on one accord. Okay, let's get this. Let's continue on verse. Slack is continuing on verse twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Okay, verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, okay, going into those prayers, that will I do, that the Father, Yahweh Bahashim, that the Father, Yahweh, May be glorified in the Son Yahweh Shai. You know, so you know. We again we go into the book of Isaiah, <laughs> the fifty ninth chapter, verse nineteen. You know, it mentions that the you know. Let's just get it real quick. Cause I know I quoted it so much. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty nine. Fast forwarding down to verse nineteen. So shall they fear the name of. The Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, and that standard is going into you know the, the spiritual powers. Which, you know, we just read in the New Testament. All right, and <laughs> And it's going into the angels having charge. You know, when you make prayers up, you know, when you send your prayers up, those angels are have permission to grant those prayers immediately. You know, and 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 in all these things, you know, we are we are supposed to, you know, uh, exalt the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, this is what we know. This is what we we're out here to, to, to do. We're out here to become a base and exalt the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and Lord willing, we be of that number. You know, and this is you know this is one of the, <laughs> the ways that you know they're gonna fear the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and um, so yeah, there's really nothing to. To be scared about, oh, I, 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 you know, just continue to, to pray, and um, and yeah, yeah, fear the name of the Lord, fear Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, you know, and 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 continue to walk in, 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 in the spirit, continue to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, you know, but anything outside of that, you know, you just. You know, continue to walk in in in, in the spirit and trust that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is in our corner, and 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 and, and he's gonna deliver us. You know, so with that, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Racha Kodash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. The true elders of Israel, who rule well, who rule well, and teach well, peace and salutations to the elect, which begins with 144,000, and also to women and children. Keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Okay, so next time, Lord willing, Lord willing, you are edified. This is your brother Bashar. Shalom.